All right, finally, a quick um, Iran update. Um, and, and this is just a, a, a just just one small story, that, but I think that is reflective um, uh, of what's going on. This was published by ISW or UnderstandingWar.org uh, that keeps track and has kept track of the protests in Iran and just generally about the Iranian regime and and its connections. So you can find this in UnderstandingWar.org. I find their analysis. Uh, really good, and and they also provide a lot of information that you don't get from the mainstream media, both about the Ukraine war. They give you a lot of detailed information, but also about other hotspots, and in particular, uh, Iran has become a hotspot for them, and they they provide a lot of during the protest. They provide a lot of information. They they still do. Um, they keep track of it very clearly. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, on April 18th, the supreme leader of Iran, Ali Khamenei. Was, uh, was giving a speech at uh, Basij University to, uh, to the students. And uh, usually what happens when, a, when the Supreme Leader gives a speech like this at a university is that everybody in attendance is basically being screened by security um, to make sure that the speech is not disrupted and to make sure that everybody's going to cheer when they're supposed to cheer and, you know, and, and support when they're supposed to support. And, and they don't want to have any expressions of doubt or any questions or any any opposition uh, during a, a speech like this. So these are all students that were clearly vetted by uh, security forces in advance. And yet, uh, during the speech, uh, the the audience uh, the audience uh, disrupted the supreme leader. And I think about this: these speeches are uh, there are cameras there, there are security forces there. Uh, anybody who is disruptive is going to be identified, targeted, potentially arrested. It takes a lot of courage to stand up to the, not just the leader, but the supreme leader of uh, Iran. Uh, but that's exactly what happened. Uh, video footage that has been leaked uh, from the event uh, showed a, a, one of the students in the audience interrupting Khamenei's speech, interrupting, them, shouting, regime officials do not listen to the people's voice. Khamenei dismisses the student, leading other audience members to reportedly protest Khamenei's dismissal. The audience members call on Khamenei to respond to the student's grievances specifically, after which Khamenei ends the speech, walks away. Now, this is just small, but it's showing, I think, shows the courage of the students. It shows the courage of the opposition to Khamenei and to the Iranian regime. It shows that people are willing to stand up to them, even in circumstances that are very risky towards them. Uh, and that they, the students who stood up to Khamenei were students who were vetted. Therefore, on their face, seemed like these would be students that support the regime and support Khamenei. So here are students uh, rebelling against the regime. It's a beautiful thing to see. Um, uh, you know, it, I think it's super inspirational, uh, and, uh, and, and maybe hopefully one could hope, uh, bodes well for the future of Iran, but little things like this, there's also a, a, a lot of now talk, uh, Rouhani, who is a, a former president of Iran, uh, has claimed, has argued that the Iranian regime should have a referendum over the hijab, uh, uh Khamenei has dismissed that. There is a massive debate going on within the leadership of Iran about whether to allow a referenda or not to allow a referenda. Referenda is actually in the Constitution because it was a, ref a referenda in 1979 that established the Islamic regime. Big mistake by the Iranian people, but it was a referendum. It was a majority of people wanted an Islamic regime. So they allow for a referenda in it. The question is, for what? When? Who gets to decide? So maybe there's a little cracks in the regime itself. Maybe there's some people within the regime who would like to see some changes. Maybe this is the beginning of a slow process of deterioration, of, of conflict from within, which, as I've said all along, is going to have to happen. Conflict from within, where there are power centers within the Iranian regime that will actually stand up and, and reject the current path of, uh, of, of the supreme leader and, and uh, the various regime elements. So 
that is uh, that is where we are. Again, a small event, nothing big, nothing super substantial, but just another example of um, I think a, the breakdown, slow breakdown of uh, of the Iranian um, authoritarians and uh, the potential for positive change in Iran as we move forward. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.